If S is a pairwise distinguishable set over L, then a finite automaton recognizing L must have at least as many states as there are elements of S. Now when constructing our pairwise distinguishable sets, it's important to understand that we need to find some string that distinguishes between elements of S, but it doesn't have to be the same string for all pairs. So let's consider the language that consists of just three strings and nothing else. Intuitively, since there are only three strings that need to be recognized, we might only need three states. But let's see if that's true. So let's start our set with 1 and 0. And remember, nothing is important. Could lambda be part of our set? We need to find x where exactly 1 of lambda x and 1x is in L. Now in order for x to satisfy lambda x is in L and 1x is not in L, we need x to be in L. So x must be 1 of 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, 1. If x is 1, then 1, 1 is not in L, but 1 is in L, so L can distinguish between lambda and 1. Now lambda must also be distinguishable from 0, so we want some string y where lambda y is in L, but 0y is not in L, or lambda y is not in L, but 0y is. And note that no string beginning with 0 is in L, so we can't find a y where 0y is in L. So the second case is not a possibility. Meanwhile, every string beginning with 0 is not in L. So as long as y is in L, then lambda y will be in L, while 0 y is not in L. And so after a little thought, we can take y equals 1, 0, and use it to distinguish between lambda and 0. So lambda is pairwise distinguishable from our current list of elements. Now, we've already included all strings of length 1, so now let's consider strings of length 2. Since 1, 0 is in L, we'll start with that. We need a string x where exactly 1 of 1, 0, x and 1, x is in L. Since no string in L has length more than 3, then if x has length 2 or more, 1, 0, x is not in L. So we need an x where 1, x is in L. And one possibility is x equals 0, and so 1, 0 is distinguishable from 1. We'd also need a y where 1 of 1, 0, y and 0, y are in L. And again, since no string in L begins with 0, then 0, y can never be in L. So we want a y where 1, 0, y is in L. y equals lambda meets this requirement. And again, it doesn't matter that lambda is already in our set because we're only looking at strings we can append to a string. So 1, 0 and 0 are distinguishable in L. Finally, we'd want z where 1 of 1, 0, z and lambda z is in L. Now if 1, 0, z is in L, the only string it could be is 1, 0, so z must be the empty string. And appending the empty string to the empty string just gives you the empty string, which is not in our language. And so 1, 0 is distinguishable from the empty string. What about our other length 2 strings? Since L has no strings that begin with 0, 0, then appending any string will produce an element not in L. So we need to find a string x where 1x is in L, y where 0y is in L, z where lambda z is in L, and w where 1, 0, w is in L. But 
zero y can never be in L, so we can't add zero zero to our pairwise distinguishable set. By the same reasoning, zero one can't be included. What about one one? So in order to be distinguishable from one, we need a string x where one of one one x and one x is in L. If x equals one, then one 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 is in L, but one one isn't, so one one is distinguishable from one. One one would also have to be distinguishable from zero, and we note that if we append a one, then one 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 is in L, while zero one is not, so one one is distinguishable from zero. To distinguish one one from the empty string, we might take any string in our language, for example, x equals one, but one 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 is in lambda, and so is lambda one, so this won't work. However, if we append one zero, this string of four symbols isn't in L, while lambda concatenated with one zero is, so one one is distinguishable from lambda. And finally, one one lambda is not in L, but one zero lambda is, so one one is distinguishable from one zero, and we can include it in our pairwise distinguishable set. What about strings of length three? Let's start with one 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 since it's in L. So one 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 is distinguishable from one since appending a zero gives us something that isn't in L, but one zero is. It's distinguishable from zero because appending the empty string gives us something in L, but appending the empty string to zero gives us something that isn't. It's distinguishable from the empty string since appending one zero to one 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 gives us something that's not in L, but one zero is. But we can't distinguish between one 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 and one zero. That's because if x is the empty string, both one 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 empty and one zero empty are in L. But if x isn't the empty string, then one 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 x is a string of length greater than three, so it's not in L. And one zero x is not in L because no string beginning with a one zero is in L. So one 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 is not distinguishable from one zero and should not be in our pairwise distinguishable set. So now let's consider a length three string not in L. Since concatenating this with a string other than the empty string will produce a length four string, which won't be in L, we'll need to find a string x where one x is in L, a string y where zero y is in L, a string z where lambda z is in L, a string w where one zero w is in L, and a string v where one one v is in L. But since no string in L begins with a zero, this will be impossible. By a similar reasoning, no string of length four or more can be distinguished from zero. And so our pairwise distinguishable set has five states. So a finite automaton recognizing our language must have at least five states. And so our intuition that we should only need three states is actually wrong.